as you can see by this room, I am extremely into the world of pop culture. I'll never forget the year 1984. I was 10 years old. My family just got our first VCR. You remember those, video cassette recorders. I started watching horror movies in 1984, and I discovered the world of professional wrestling in the year 1984. That's one year before WrestleMania won. Over the years, I've been to pop culture conventions and fan meet and greets where I was able to meet a lot of these professional wrestlers that I grew up watching on television and live in person throughout the 1980s, the 1990s, the 2000s, even up till now. I've never stopped watching professional wrestling. I'm ready for you, Piper. Come on, bring it. I can get you. Hulk, thanks for taking the time to meet all of us, oh, man. Oh, man, my pleasure, man. Thanks for coming out. Oh, yeah! It's 2015, but I decided to bring 1985 back to Mean Gene Okerlund. Yeah! Can I get a photo, Mean Gene? You can. Oh, yeah! I have a framed copy of WWF Magazine with Randy Macho Man Savage on the cover. I still have all of my WWF action figures from the 1980s, and this is even close to my full collection. And I still have my rock license plate from the 1990s. Being a wrestling fan in the 1980s, we always had great villains. My two favorite wrestlers at the time were Rowdy Roddy Piper and, of course, this guy, the macho man Randy Savage. Ooh, yeah, snap into a Slim Jim. Ooh, yeah, it's the macho man Randy Savage, and I just secured myself a ticket for some pro Wrestling action tonight in the Boston, Massachusetts area. Yeah, it's not the WWF. It's not the WWE. No, no, no. It's all elite wrestling. AEW. I'm going to bring you watching throughout the video scope with me tonight on this detour. I'm going to bring you with me tonight to the AEW Tapings of Rampage and Dynamite, the Aganis Arena, Boston, Massachusetts. I hope you guys have fun. I know I'm going to have fun. Oh, yeah. Dig it. WWE WrestleMania 38 was in Dallas, Texas last weekend. I contemplated heavily on going to Dallas. I'd never been to a WrestleMania before. And unfortunately, I didn't make it to Dallas, Texas last week either. So the next best thing for me to check out pro wrestling is checking it out here in my backyard, Boston, Massachusetts. It's not WWE, it's going to be, again, AEW All Elite Wrestling, which has been, a, like, the hot the hot thing going on the last couple years. Exit left to exit 131, Alston, Brighton, Cambridge. There's a great look up the street at the Prudential Tower in downtown Boston. Oh, i got to give you that time, date, and temperature. It is Wednesday, April the 6th, 7.18 p.m. at 49 degrees here in the city of Boston. I wonder how many AEW fans took the tea into the Gannis Arena tonight. We are here at the location for tonight's detour, Gannis Arena at the Boston University campus. The grades I had in high school were not good enough for me to get into Boston University, so this is the closest I'll ever be getting into Boston University. Although I did have a high school friend who attended Boston University and I've I got out some, uh, some pretty kick-ass fraternity parties back in the day here on the BU campus. Give you a shot of some of that AEW merch. If you want to see Detours drink a beer, give me a hell yeah. Currently 7.39 p.m. I'm currently here in the beer line. Show starts in 20 minutes. But light accomplished.
look at me when I'm talking to you. I guess after last week you realized you couldn't just steal this championship, so you want another shot at it. Well, fine, I'll give you that and let it serve as your punishment. Because next week, unless I'm mistaken, I think we have a live rampage in Texas. So the match you think you want so bad will not be a normal match. It sure as hell won't be on your terms. Because next week I'll defend this championship against you, Adam Cole, in a Texas death match.
for being here with us, having our back for 29 years. They ran out of the Bud Light, got the Corona now. Cheers. We're coming back for commercial break.
down there they're changing out the ring apron it's now no longer dynamite we're heading into friday night rampage the show we just saw was live on tbs this one right here friday night rampage i think it's on tnt I tell you what, this is a great venue to see a wrestling match. It's it's not as big as the uh, TV Garden, the Boston Garden, if you will. This is a well, this is the Boston University oh, Arena, the Guinness Arena. The forecast for this Friday night on Rampage: the sound of bones cracking like thunder and raining. Blood. Let's go back to the ring. Your opening contest is set for and fall with a three-minute time limit. Be accompanied by William M. Regal from Aberdeen, Washington. Weighing 197 pounds, the American Dragon, Brian Danielson. Give you 
some advice when you run your mouth. Talk a little more about what you do in this damn ring and a lot less about what you do in your bedroom. I am not scared of you, John Moxley. I am the Ring of Honor Pure Champion, and tonight I earn the respect. Let's be very, very clear. It's not my job to show you respect. I'm not your friend. I'm not your buddy. I don't care what William Regal thinks about you. This ain't pure rules. Tonight I have one job. Spill your guts all over the map so we can find out exactly, finally, once and for all, what you are really made of. Boston, Massachusetts, your Rampage main event is a for a fall for TV time remaining. The entrance first from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Running one, 199 pounds.
that's going to be it for the AEW All Elite Wrestling action here to get us arena tonight. Well, that's going to be it for this detour documenting the awesomeness of going to a live wrestling event, whether it be AEW All Elite Wrestling or WWE World Wrestling Entertainment. It's awesome. You know what to do next. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. I try to answer all the comments. If you haven't done so yet, please consider subscribing to Detours. Click that red subscribe button. While you're clicking away, click that small bell. It'll give you instant notification every single time I upload a brand new Detour. Check me out on social media. I'm on Instagram at Derek Millen, D-E-R-E-K-M-I-L-L-E-N. I also have a Facebook group, Derek Millen's Detours. And I've also been leaving these things around everywhere I go, these Detour business cards on the back. It's got all the QR codes, brings it right to all my social medias. And as always, I'll catch you on the next detour, brother.